What's up, Soul Squad? What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my kitchen. Oh my God, did you guys see the thumbnail? The thumbnail? <laughs> Why do I always mess up? The thumbnail. I hope it brings you good ideas for game day. Because guess what? I think I want to say it's a charcuterie board. It's just about... It's not a security board. It's a, hey, we did it on board, so we're going to call it a security board. But I know I'm messing the name up. But this is all about what? Game day snacks. The Super Bowl is February the 7th. And if your favorite team, the 6th, I'm sorry, February the 6th. And if your favorite team playing the Super Bowl, you're looking for some good snacks for you and the family to eat on. So my sister came to me and said, hey, let's do a collab. I said, you know what? That would be great. If you guys don't know who my sister is, she is a YouTuber creator just like me. Um, New Life Journey, guys. She's going to be doing her version of, of um, Super Bowl snacks, game, 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 game day snacks. And I'll be doing my versions of um, game day snacks. Now, in this video, I'm on my little charcuterie boards or my chopping boards. You're going to see different things. But one of the things this video is based on, I am showing you guys how to make a very quick and delicious French onion dip to dip those chips in. But I'm also going to have some lemon pepper wings. The link to the lemon pepper wings video is going to be in the description below because I made them before. So I didn't decide to do them for this video. I'm just going to share my video uh, an old video that I made lemon pepper wings in. And you guys check out that video if you want to make them for your game day snack table. But guys, so in the link below is going to be my sister, New Life Journey. Her link to her um, video, to her um, game day snacks. And then my link to my lemon pepper chicken. Are uh, you guys ready to learn how to make French onion dip? So amazing. Let's go cook. strainer I have a half a red onion and I have two large two medium onions chopped up in my pan I have a stick and a half of unsalted butter melted in with my onions and what's you gonna say oh that's a lot of onions with some fresh onion dip but guess what we're caramelizing the onion you're gonna cook this on low these onions on low in this butter you're not going to do nothing to it. You're just going to let it sit. It's going to take about 20 to 25 minutes to get these onion caramelized the way you want it for your French onion dip. So we're going to let this cook on low. And when we come back, we're going to let you see the process of it. I'll probably come back in maybe about 15 minutes and let you guys see how, let you guys see what they're doing and how they're cooking. But this is something that you cannot rush. You want them onions to be caramelized. You want them, they're going to shrink down because um, they're going to all come together. Yeah. So we make a French onion dip here on my channel. Okay, guys, look at my onions. They're soft. But they're not where I want them to be at. It's been 15 minutes. I just wanted to show y'all how they're going to look so far. Right now, you see how soft they are? And they're cooking. I'm getting up 15, 20 minutes. They should be ready. But they're doing exactly what I want them to do. I want them to cook slow, get soft, and turn brown. You see some of them trying to turn brown? Yes. With another 15, by another 20 minutes, these babies are going to be ready. And you're cooking it on low. Do not try to turn it up and say, oh, I'm tired. I want this to go fast. Your caramel, caram jeez, caramelizing, your caramelizing onions. So they have to take their time. This is a slow and steady pace process, but it's going to get there. And you want, for this particular recipe, you want it to get there because you want it to taste good. Yeah, so look at that. They are soft the way I want it. Cooking up in that butter. Already been 15 minutes, I know, because I set the alarm. You can see some of them trying to turn brown. So I'm going to give them another 20 minutes. I think we'd be exactly where we want to be at, y'all. Yes. Can't wait. I don't even eat French onion dip. <laughs> but family do. And this video, it's not for me. It's about the family. It's about um celebrating what they love best. But that dang on football and getting something good to eat on while they watch it. You be back. Okay, guys, I am finally ready. 
Look at my onions. Look how they came out. Let's set everything up right here. Everything that we're going to be using. Yes. Like, what is all that? I'm going to let you know what it is in a minute. Okay. This is um, celery salt. You use a tablespoon. One table. That's the big part. <laughs> tablespoon of celery salt. This is freshly squeezed lemon juice. Two teaspoons. This is that witch to sire sauce. Witch to sire sauce. Two teaspoons. A pinch of pepper. Mm. A pinch of salt. Some onions. Three cups of mayonnaise of your choice. Two cups of sour cream. And with your with your um onions, after they get done, um, place them in the drainer. Because you want to get all that butter and grease off of there, right? Place them in the refrigerator so that they could get cold. Because guess what? Now you got, look at them. Oh, yes. See how they broke down? So now you got to chop them up. You know what? Give me the purple knife with the ridges. That's like a bread knife. And I could um, chop it up with that. Thank you. Now you got to chop your onions up. Mm, caramelization of these onions. Guys, I ain't gonna lie. This took about 50 minutes on low. When you caramelize an onion and you don't want them to um you don't want them to um really um burn or you want that caramelization, you have to cook them slow and steady. You have to be patient and it's gonna make your house smell real oniony. <laughs> but I'm trying to chop them up the best way I know how because they're so they're still a little bit warm but I placed them in the refrigerator you will have some big pieces in here you can see how they shrunk up and everything and again and this is three onions two medium yellow onion and actually two and a half two medium yellow onion and a half a red onion just to help take down some of that pulp on um, the strongness of the um, regular onion. Red onions are more sweeter. They're not as strong. And guys, I think I'm going to chop it up as much as I can. You ain't going to chop enough, cameraman? He said, yeah. <laughs> Not had on your hands. Okay. And if you can, you can chop them a little smaller than that. You know, do what you do. Let me get a paper towel here. Now, this is all about game night. This is about bringing the family together. This is about the boys when they eating and watching their favorite team. So, we're going to go in with the onions. Love my new chopping ball. Thank you, sister, from Ross. Hmm. Look at that. Who want to do dishes? I guess I got to do them, right? So, again, two whole medium yellow onions. A half a red onion, three cups of mayonnaise, two cups of sour cream, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons of lemon juice, a tablespoon of celery salt, tablespoon, not a teaspoon, a tablespoon of celery salt. This is homemade French onion dip, guys. Now, the pepper and the salt is a half a teaspoon of salt. About a half a teaspoon of pepper. That's it, guys. And we're going to stir it up. And this is homemade French Onion dip. Nothing gets any better when you're making it yourself from home, right? Mm, look at that. We're going to put this in the refrigerator. Let it get cold. Because now I'm going to wipe down my um, chopping boards. And we're going to put together my game day table. Yes. Now, I don't like onions. But let me just taste. This is like French onion dip. 
Mm. You taste that celery, salt, everything. Okay. Your family is going to love this. Grab your favorite chip. We be right back. Okay, guys, you ready? Let's put together our game day board. Um, I didn't, they didn't have Kaiser rolls, so I grabbed some of these Petra Farms um, ro um, rolls. You know, they hamburgers, rolls, but guess what? It's a great, great, great way to make a sandwich. Now, with this, I'm doing cold cuts, something cold. You don't have to do anything cold, you know, but you and your family. I was like... Something fast, something quick that they could grab. I'm not doing all of them. And, yes. So this is going to be my little game day board. Got some nice fresh lettuce here that they could choose from. When making their sandwiches, you know, cut it in half. We're going to throw some tomatoes. Just like these tomatoes. Sit right here. Up around on the lettuce. And they could just grab. Look, when it start out, right, your boy is going to be pretty. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have everything that um, they want, right? But by the time everybody get to grabbing and making the sandwiches, it's going to look a hot mess. You know, my family loves onions. So we're going to go down with some onions on this board right here. They could just make their sandwiches and call it what? And you know what? You can pull this out. If they're going to eat at halftime, you can pull this out at halftime. Or you could just go ahead and fix the table up. But I say pull it out at halftime, you know. The meat we're going with today, we're going with pastrami. Because guess what? I'm going with what I already got in my refrigerator. Now, you can choose whatever meat that you want. You know, you could go with some turkey. So whatever, but this is just for today's video and today's lunch. Look at that. It's all about game day and what your family like, y'all. And my kitchen is a mess. I got to clean all this up. I got the mayonnaise. I got the mustard because I found a little mayonnaise and mustard. And it's to give them an extra treat. Remember? I got some lemon pepper chicken wings. Ooh. And guys, the link on how I make my lemon pepper chicken wings going to be at the bottom in the description. Tell me your family they going to love. Who don't love? Man, when you're doing a game day um, tray or platter, you have to have wings. Some type of wings. And I went with lemon pepper. I fried them. The <laughs> this looking so far. Looking amazing, right? And don't forget, I love double eggs. I think it just set off any type, woo, any type of quick grab. So, there we go with some double eggs. Oh, why my hands shaking? I don't know, I'm trying to grab them right. Just a couple here and there. They can have something to grab. You know, stick in their mouth. I'm going to stick some right here. They're going to be like, Mom. We're like, yeah. And what? And what? Look at that. How's this looking? Okay. And what's going right here? Let me get out that what? French onion dip and the chips. And be back. Alright guys, I pulled out what? That homemade French onion dip. When they taste it, mmm. And I got what? Some plain chips right here. Look, I should have did it with my hand, but I didn't want to dig in the bag. Let's get a mountain of chips. That'd be good. They're going to grab them, right? You can't go wrong with that. Honey! game day. Do you want to come to my house again game day? And last but not least, I forgot about my pepper jack cheese. I'm just going to stick pieces right on up in here. 
They could grab them some. I don't want my board to be too crowded, too overcrowded, because you still want them to look pretty and everything, right? But they could grab them. I'm just going to put a couple of pieces of this pepper jack cheese. How that look? Now, this looking so amazing. Where the pickles go? <laughs> I don't got to stop for the pickles. But they're here. Let's see. So I say, sit one there. Where the pickles going? Where you going to stick a pickle at? Right here. And you know what? I'm just going to stick two. How that look? There's some pickles, y'all. <laughs> it's more pickles where that came from. But, y'all, yeah, guess what? This is my game day table. It's quick. It's easy. French onion dip. Double. Double eggs. <laughs> Lemon pepper chicken. Your condiments. Your lunch meat. Your rolls. Your onions. Your tomatoes. Your pickle. Your cheese. Your choice. <laughs> Tell me who family ain't gonna love them. Who family will not love them on game day? Guys, go check out my sister New Life Journey. She's giving you guys game day snacks. Totally different from what I gave you guys. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified until our next video. So squad, I am out. I think this is a touchdown. This is a touchdown, right? Yeah. <laughs>